the clarinet trial, which was a study of lanreotide, um, a somatostatin analog, um, in GI and um, in GI and pancreatic nets, and. Um, this study randomized patients um, to lanreotide or placebo. Lanreotide is given as a deep sub-Q injection once a month, and this was a positive study favoring the lanreotide arm, um, and the primary endpoint was progression-free survival and demonstrated um, a, a progression-free survival um, that benefit that was statistically significant that we haven't reached the median in the lanreotide arm. Notably, the placebo had a median PFS of 18 months. Um, this was a um, selected population in which they were really primarily not progressing prior to going on this study. And so we know now with that PFS of 18 months in the placebo arm that it's actually probably okay to not treat a certain subset of those patients. But I think that noted, noting now that there is a PFS improvement with lanreotide, I think that lanreotide can now be considered for both progressors and non-progressors. So it's really about selecting the right patients who need to, need to be put on that. So we're asked a lot about the difference between lanreotide and octreotide. They're very similar in their mechanism of action. They both have the same affinity profile for the same somatostatin receptor subtypes 2 and 5 and they probably can be used interchangeably.